kilometers. Okay, so yesterday we only did 465 kilometers. It was just a horrible, horrible friggin' day. That's why we did more than that. Ah, whatever. Uh, there's our total kilometers so far. Yeah, I guess that's all I did. Hmm. All right, so we're all packed up. We're leaving per se now. Uh, I'm just gonna go over. There's a quick little lookout over here. It's gonna show you what the uh, show you the rock. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Holy crap, man. I just spent over two bucks a liter to put gas in this thing. Wow. The friggin' prices out here are pretty expensive, man. I picked up some breakfast while I was here. Keep on trucking. It's, uh, yeah, this is just a gas station on the outskirts, per se. Forgot to bring a grease gun with me. Keep up on the, uh, the maintenance on that thing. On the trailer. Just to make sure she comes home with me. Wrong aisle. Oh wait, no, right aisle. There we go. Frig, I've got ten of these things at home now. I gotta remember to bring them with me. Wheel bearing. Perfect. Wheel bearings are all greased up again. Ready to rock. Guess I got myself a tenth friggin' grease gun to add to the collection. <laughs> oh well. Guess they're all getting old, but they all work perfectly fine, so. Yeah, welcome number 10. See you later, Quebec. It's been nice being in you, but it's going to be nice getting back to the land where everything makes sense. Hello, New Brunswick. All right, now to get back to my map so I know where I'm going. In 600 meters, turn left onto Roseberry Street, all New right. Brunswick 134. And today's supper is consisting of two hot dogs and a drink. Tell you, man, I almost canceled it out on the trip. I almost went home. Uh, my back, my knees, everything was just killing me. The friggin' the roads out on Highway 132 near uh, uh, Per Se are just atrocious. They're horrible. Uh, I almost canceled it out and just went home. I was just so sore. But uh, I left there today and I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep on trucking and head out to Moncton head on to Truro and just keep on booking her all the way out to uh, the Cabot Trail. Kind of glad I did. The roads out here are actually very good, very smooth. Uh, it's a great day. I've been cranking up the tunes in the car and just booking her all the way here, just having a beautiful drive. So I guess technically day three was kind of a bust. Most, oh look, Nova Scotia. Yeah, I guess technically day three was kind of a bust. It's uh, mostly just been a traveling day from uh, per se down to here. Um, we're currently actually just on our way out of New Brunswick now. There's the Nova Scotia sign coming up. Pass that thing a million times before. Oi, oi, oh. There we go, Nova Scotia. We made it. Got to do a little bit of video stabilization there. Holy man, that moved a lot. So currently right now, so I stayed the night in Truro at my brother's place. We hung out this morning, we did stuff, whatever. So here's the deal. Um, we're down near Halifax right now, and there's a vehicle that someone had down there. I had to go take a look at it at a dealership. I'm considering trading in the car. I'm actually considering trading in the car. The best vehicle I've ever owned, I'm actually considering trading it in. Wait till you see why I'm considering trading this thing in. I think this thing would be like brutal to get home but if it made it home, it would be actually pretty cool to get home. Okay, you ready for this one? <laughs> Blam! <laughs> 2007 Suzuki Carry. <laughs> She's got a six foot box. You know, you can fold everything out, you know, and it makes the box bigger if you need it. Door open. She's right hand drive. So I have to call on that one, call the insurance, because I know those ones have a bit of a premium to them. She's got a speaker about the size of my thumb <laughs> in that radio. That is it, she's bare bones, although she does have AC, which is nice. She's got high and low range in her, manual transmission, which is a must. Um, I mean, when I'm sitting in here, if my foot's not on the clutch, I'm good, but if I am on the clutch, you know, it, it kind of, my leg kind of rubs on there a little bit. Not too bad, the seats are horribly uncomfortable. But if I could get this home, this thing would be the cat's ass little putt-putt gas miser. It's only a 660cc engine in it. 
Um, like, yeah, let's see what she looks like underneath. Wait. She's pretty damn clean under there, man. Pretty friggin' clean. So I, you know, I'd have to put my trailer in the box to get her home, but you know, whatever. Not a biggie. So there we go. Let's see. I'm gonna bring her back to the dealership there in a couple of minutes. And uh, those guys are gonna see what they're gonna give me on a trade. If they can give me a decent trade, you know what? I might, I just might go for it. I just might go for it. If not, well, I've had a bit of an experience driving it, I guess. So uh, that right there uh, is a Suzuki Carry 2007. It's uh, imported directly from Japan. These things, uh, to get into Canada, they have to be 15 years or older. In the States, you got to be 25 years or older to get them in. So uh, let's close this thing up. Let's hop in it. And uh, we'll go for a little bit of a spin. That was an antenna. Yeah, we'll hop in. We'll go for a little bit of a spin. See if I can hold the camera up here. Because you really got to shift through the gears in this thing. But uh, it'd be nice to have a truck again. You know, it's a six-foot box. I mean, there's a lot of room in that. I mean... But there's another one they have at the dealership. It's got an insulated box. It's a thousand bucks more, but it's got a big insulated box. I could put windows. I could put a little moon roof or like sun sunroof in it, whatever you want to call it. There, vent. Put windows in the sides, and I could turn it into a little camper. And that I think would be the cat's ass. So if I don't come home with this one, maybe I'll come home with the other one. Who knows? All right, we're gonna start off in second gear because I'm on the hill. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Did you handle little Moto Cheese style videos like this? In case you don't know who Moto Cheese is, I'll put a link in the description for you to go and say hello. <laughs> he's a mini truck guy. Well, he's my favorite mini truck guy for YouTube. This thing's fun, man. I see why he has these things. What a fun little buggy. Well, there we go. That's the inside. Although this one's got quite the vibration when you're idling. Look at that steering wheel. Uh, I wonder if the other ones are like that. Hmm. I have to mention that when I get back to the dealership. Alrighty, we're done here. Time to head back to the dealership, hand this thing back, and uh, I'll let you know from there. If, uh, if they give me a decent trade, maybe I'll take out the other one for a rip with the little, uh, uh, with the, the box on the back there. Actually, that box is pretty freaking sweet. It would make a wicked camper, but it would be kind of useless for carrying things so yeah we'll see the box the camper comes out the box comes out look how low range is on this thing ah whatever it's good see you in a bit